okay, as we bring such to join us on Facebook and Instagram, those of you that are here, that are lying on your back, go ahead and stay there. But if you notice that uh, you could use a yoga prop that you don't currently have with you, uh, I invite you to go grab that, uh, whether it be a blanket or a block. Both are really helpful for your practice, even if you are pretty flexible. Good morning to those on Facebook just starting to join us. On our Instagram, it's currently saying pause due to reconnection, but on our Facebook, we'll go ahead and begin. So go ahead, find that comfortable space to lay down on your mat. Are you putting the block under the low back or blanket right underneath your head? And as you lie down, kind of let your hands come to the sides of you. Feel your entire back body connect with your yoga mat. And then go ahead and take both shoulders with your hands and just kind of bring them down away from your ears. For today, our focus will be on our neck. In our shoulders, the place where our body tends to store and hold a lot of tension, a lot of residual stress. With your eyes closed, go ahead and place both hands on your belly. And imagine that your hands are feathers, very lightweight. And as you breathe in, feel that feather gently lift. And as you breathe out, watch it fall. Breathe in through your nose, expanding the low belly both lungs and your chest. And as you exhale, feel the chest, the ribs, the belly soften. Breathe in, inflating low belly, both lungs and chest. And breathe out as everything softens. Inhaling, taking that three heart breath or maybe it becomes a three count breath for you. And then exhaling as your body releases. Take a few more steady and conscious inhales and exhales here on your back. Taking a moment here to notice the subtle movement in the body from your breathing. And on your next inhale, inflate your chest and your belly, draw the knees in, and start to rock a little bit from side to side. And then rock your way all the way up to a comfortable seat. Take your time to get there, and if you just made it here this morning on your mat, welcome. Go ahead, take a deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. Another deep breath in, filling up low belly, rib cage, chest. Let it go. Soften the chest, shoulders, belly, 
your ribs. Inhale through the nose and exhale through your nose. Inhale through the nose, straightening the spine, lifting through the crown of your head. And exhale as you actively let the shoulders move away from your ears. On your next inhale, lift your chin up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, take the chin down to your chest. Breathe in, fill up your belly, your ribs, your chest, and your throat. And as you exhale, release your breath, your head, and your chin. Take three more of these at the pace of your breath. Every inhale, lifting. And every time you exhale, let go of your head and of your breath. Good. After that last one, we'll meet sitting up nice and tall. Take your right hand outside of your left ear and gently draw your head over to your right shoulder. You don't want to crank on it or really pull it, but just like a gentle stretch through the neck. Take a deep breath into that space on the outside, the left side of your neck. And then change sides. Go ahead and catch the outside of your right ear with both hands or with your left hand. And breathe. Creating space by letting that right shoulder hang down. Good. Release your hand. Inhale. Lift your chin back up towards the ceiling. Allow the right ear to come to the right shoulder. And as you exhale, bring your chin to your chest. Fill up and let the left ear come to the left shoulder and the chin to the ceiling. Continue taking these neck rotations, breath by breath. Breathing through your nose. Taking any roundness out of the lower back so the spine is upright and straight here. And on that next inhale, sit up nice and tall, coming through center. Fill your lungs up and lift your shoulders up by your ears. As you exhale, rotate them down and back. Inhale, filling and lifting the shoulders and exhaling as you release them. Keep moving with your breath. Your hands could be in your lap or they can be on your knees. Breathing in as shoulders lift and out as they release. You can go ahead and change directions. There's this wonderful book I encourage you all to check out by Louise Hay. At the moment, I can't remember the title, but the book talks about how things that we're experiencing in our body have a direct connection with what we're experiencing in our mind and how we feel emotionally and otherwise. When the shoulders are tight, it tends to mean we're feeling stubborn or being stubborn about something or refusing to accept something. So today, as we work through any tightness in our shoulders, let our mantra be to accept how we feel, what we are, and what's happening in our lives. Hi, Jessica. I'm happy to see you joining us with your son. All right, everybody, take a deep breath in. Circle your arms up towards the sky. Lift up as you root through your sitting bones. Take that right hand right behind your hips, plant it into the floor. Take your left hand to your right knee and twist from your navel. Look back over your right shoulder, letting your neck get some of this movement here. Draw the shoulder blades together as you puff up your chest with breath. Inhale as you come back through center, lift your heart, 
Lift your fingers, lift your eyes. Place your left hand on the ground and take the right hand to the left knee and twist. Look over your left shoulder. That right shoulder is going to want to draw back. See that you draw it forward to twist a little bit deeper from your navel. Good. Inhale. Come back through center. Reach up. Look up. And twist back to your right side. Take this seated spinal twist for three breaths. As you inhale, feel the very crown of your head stretching up towards the ceiling. And then come back through center and then look past the fingers. Fill up belly, ribs, and throat. Exhale to the other side. Three breaths in this twist. And after your exhalation, your third exhale, change sides. We'll take three more of these from side to side, breath by breath. And if you're on IG, you might notice that Claire and I are moving in different sides, different paces. And maybe you're practicing at home with whoever you're quarantining. And you all are moving on different sides and different paces. That's perfect. Reach your arms all the way up. Fill your lungs up, and then let's all come onto our hands and knees. Take your time to get there. If you have tender knees, go ahead and double up your yoga mat like this. Or if you have a blanket from your bed or like a yoga blanket, go ahead and lay it out underneath the knees. If you're like Claire right now, just good on the knees. Let's all take the knees far apart out to the corners of your yoga mat. Good. If you have a block or maybe a blanket, you can place that under your head as we start to shift our hips back, moving into child's pose. Let your forehead come down onto your mat or into a block. Or if you're like my uncle who does yoga with me, maybe two blocks. Wherever you are is perfect. These asanas, which are yoga postures, are secondary to your breathing. So work to focus on your breathing. Work to focus on your mantra. I accept. As you stretch and breathe here in child's pose, know that you can always come to this position. If you find your mind has moved away from your breath, You can come right back here. And say, I accept. Take two more inhales and exhales through your nose in child's pose. And on your next inhale, fill your belly up and rise up to your hands and knees in table pose. You're welcome, Kalisha. Thanks for joining us. Spread your fingertips far apart. Turn the fingertips towards the front of your mat and see that your elbow creases are facing forward. If this is too much on your knees, you can have a seat as you exhale round your back. Tuck your chin. Look at your belly here in cow, cat pose, rather. And as you inhale, fill the belly up, lift your chin up, lift your heart up, expand your chest with breath. As you exhale, round your spine. And if you're sitting down, I'll show you that variation for your seated cat and cow. As you inhale, fill your lungs up, lift your face up. And as you exhale, release your breath, round your spine. Inhale, lifting. And as you exhale, round as much as you can. Let the head drop so you feel that stretch of the neck. Inhale, fill and lift. Exhale as you release and round. Take three more of those at the pace of your breath. Just starting to link our breath and our movement. We work to exaggerate those movements. So as you inhale, feel 
your belly button reaching down to the floor. And as you exhale, round, round, round until the middle of your back is touching up towards the ceiling. And then come to this nice stable table here. Take a breath in, walk your handprint towards the center of your yoga mat. Fill your lungs up and reach your right arm out in front of you like you wanna shake my hand this morning. Turn your thumb up towards the ceiling. You wanna create that space between your jawline and your shoulder. And as you exhale, start to extend your left foot back. Now notice my left toes are down on the floor and I'm pressing back through the heel. If you need a little more this morning, you can go ahead and let that left foot start to float up towards the ceiling. Now if you notice that the breath is started to move quickly with your foot up, it's all good. Bring your foot back down, accepting exactly where you are. Take one more inhale here, reaching out. As you exhale, round, connect your elbow and your knee. Round your back like you're in that cat pose. Inhale, extend back out. Fill your lungs, your belly. Exhale, contract, squeezing that stale air out of the abdomen. Inhale, reach back out. Good. Exhale, curl it in. Inhale, lengthen all the way out. We are going to hold without holding your breath. So breathe here. And then you're going to bend the knee and breathe. Now some of us may stay right here. Others, take your right hand to your right hip and start to look up towards the ceiling. And if you started wobbling and shaking, it's okay, you can lower the hand back down. But keep that left leg lifted and work to reach back in that direction if your hand is up. Maybe you catch the foot, maybe not but see that you're looking up towards the ceiling or over that right shoulder. And take one breath here. Exhale, lower it down, come to your hands and knees. Let's take a few cat and cows and balance it out. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, round your spine, release your head and your neck. Inhale, lift, draw the shoulder heads back, shoulder blades come together. And then we'll meet in a flat table. Let's try the other side. Fill your lungs up. Walk that right hand in and lift your left arm forward, thumb facing the ceiling. On your next inhalation, go ahead and start to extend that right foot all the way back. Press back through your right heel, get that length throughout your hamstring, and breathe. As you exhale, connect your left elbow with your knee, squeeze out the stale air in the belly. Inhale, fill your belly up, and exhale. And if you fall, it's all good. Try again. Every breath has another chance to try again, whether you're on or off this yoga mat. <laughs> good, inhale, reach all the way out, hold. Hold this pose without holding your breath. Good, and then from here, Go ahead and bend that right knee so your right footprint is reaching up towards the ceiling. Just staying right here with both hands down, you're getting a really active workout in your core, okay? Then take that left hand and reach back. Maybe you reach back, maybe you don't. Wherever you are, breathe right here. If you're on IG, check out Claire reaching back for that foot, opening up her heart. Stacking her left shoulder right over the right shoulder and peeking up at the ceiling. Good. Exhale. Come on back down to your hands and knees. Let's cat cow it out. Balance the breath out. Take an inhale. Fill your lungs up. Lift your heart up as the belly expands. And exhale as you round your spine, releasing your head here. Take a few more at your pace. Beautiful work, guys. Let's go ahead, come to that stable table, and begin to fold your toes under, like curl them under so the pads of each one of your toes are on the ground. And then lift your hips up to the ceiling in downward facing dog. Now, if you're already like, that's too much, I can't breathe, stay right here. This is perfect. 
you're still activating your triceps and your biceps here in this stable table. So whether you're in your downward dog like Claire is on Instagram or you're here in table pose with me, take a few breaths. If you're in down dog, look at your knees or between or at your navel and then shake your head right and left, yes or no. got this eight to 10 pound thing over our shoulders every day that we're holding up. So give your shoulders and your neck a little relief here. And then on your next inhale, start to lift your heels or your knees if you're down here and walk your feet up to meet your hands. I'm moving towards the back of my mat so you guys can see me, but you all move towards the front. Take your hands to your shins or to the top of a block and lift halfway up with the flat back. Exhale, hinge from your hips and fold back forward. We're gonna try that half lift three times. Inhale, lift halfway, flatten your back, roll the shoulder heads back, and then exhale to fold in. You wanna create that length in your neck. Inhale, up halfway again, coming onto the fingertips or pressing into the shins, and exhale as you fold all the way back in. The last one, inhale, inflate your belly. Exhale, contract your belly as you fold forward. Now root through your feet and stand all the way up. Circle your fingertips to the ceiling. I'm going to lift my computer up so you can see me. <laughs> Good. Then bring your hands down to your heart. For a moment, close your eyes. Feel the ground beneath your yoga mat supporting you. Let any weight on the shoulders start to release as you stand tall here in equal standing. Just again, noticing your breath rising and falling in the body. In your next breath in, open the eyes up, reach up and look past your fingers. Stretch your whole torso here. Keep the palms together this morning and draw your shoulders away from your ears here and start to stretch over to the right. Ground through the outer edge of your left foot and that left shoulder may wanna come forward, bring it back so you're opening up the chest. Inhale, come back through center, stretch through the points of your fingers, press through your toes. And exhale to the other side. Get that right body extension, shoulder blades drawing back and towards one another. Good, inhale, come back through center, palms staying together, reach back behind you. Pelvis rooting down, reach back and open. Exhale, circle your fingers all the way down to your toes or to your block. Yogi's choice. Inhale up halfway, flat back here, shoulders back. And then plant your hands, come on down to your hands and knees or to the top of a push-up. Let your breath decide which variation or which asana you take. Take a huge inhale through your nose here. As you exhale, keep your elbows in and lower down with control. Let your chest meet the mat before your pelvis. Beautiful, Claire. As you inhale, take those hands right under your shoulders and gently start to peel the heart up without clenching your glutes in your cobra pose. Exhale back to your downward facing dog or your table and take five deep breaths right here or right here. In your down dog, see that that gaze is right at your knees or navel so your neck is good and you can move it freely. Take two more deep breaths here through your nose. And as you inhale, fill up and rise up off of the heels or the knees and walk your feet forward between your hands. Good, bring the hands to shin so you're black and lift up halfway with your flat back. And then fold forward, bring your heart down to your thighs. Inhale, circle the arms up towards the sky, reach up and look up, bring the palms together at your heart center and breathe. Inhale, lift those arms right back up to the sky. Look up, 
This time, separate your feet hips distance. Want to get into those shoulders a little bit. Interlace your fingertips right behind your low back. Like so. And work to draw the heels of your hands towards one another. Take a deep breath in, filling your chest up, drawing the rhomboids together, contracting the traps. And as you exhale, start to fold forward, hinging from your hips. Engage your quadriceps so your legs are straight, but try not to lock the knees out here. Look at your navel or right between your knees and breathe through the nose. Maybe you shake your head right to left in this pose too. Just freeing up that area. So that as you exhale, release your fingertips down to the floor. Put a little bend into your left knee. Maybe that left hand rests on the floor or a block. And as you inhale, wave your right arm up to the sky. I just love this pose for uh, our shoulders. Claire will tell you I had this in almost every sun salutation. Maybe you rotate the wrist for our first one. You might spend a little bit of time on the wrist today and change sides. Lower your right hand to the floor or to a block. Bend your right knee and wave your left arm up towards the sky. Take three balanced breaths here through your nose and then begin to rotate your left wrist. Good, exhale, lower the hands down. Fill your lungs up, lengthen just halfway with nice flat spine. Plant your hands and make your way to the top of your stable table or your plank pose. Fill your lungs up, rib expanding in opposite directions. And as you exhale, lower down with control. So you feel those abdominal muscles starting to wake up here. Good. Fill the lungs, lift your heart as the belly and ribs expand with your breath. And make your way to downward dog or to your table or even that amazingly restorative child's pose. Wherever you are, accept. Return to that intention we set at the onset of our practice to accept however we're feeling in the moment. Good, slowly start to lift your heels or your knees up and we'll meet with our bodies folded in half in a standing forward fold. Take your time to get there. As you inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway up and rotate those shoulders back. Fold in, bringing your heart down to your thighs. Root through the feet, fill your lungs up and circle your arms all the way up towards the ceiling. Separate your feet hips distance, and then interlace your fingertips behind your low back again, right under the tailbone. Rotate the shoulder blades together, take a breath in, fill your belly up, your rib cage, your chest, and your throat, and as you exhale, fold in, sending that weight towards the front of your feet, peeking between your knees or at your navel here. Take five breaths. As you breathe in, watch your belly try to reach between your thighs. And as you breathe out, pull your belly away from the thighs energetically. Exhale, release your fingertips down to your mat or to your yoga block. Bend your left knee. Wave your right arm up towards the ceiling working to stack your right shoulder over your left. And as you exhale, change sides. Bending your right knee, sweep the left fingertips up, look up and breathe. Good, go ahead, lower the fingertips down to your yoga mat, peek forward, lengthen, and plant your hands. Come to the top of your plank or your table and hold without holding your breath here. One of the reasons people tend to have shoulder pains is, is because their shoulders might be weak. So today, 
we're going to strengthen the shoulders just a bit in this table or your plank. Take a full inhalation here through your nose. As you exhale, lower halfway down into this low push-up, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale back to the top. You might hear Yogi say that term a lot, Chaturanga. What does that even mean? It's just a low push-up. But wherever you are, those knees can be lowered too. Come back down to that low push-up just for a breath. You got this, Claire. Inhale back to the top. Woo, feel those shoulders getting stronger? Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Let it go. Let it go. Inhale, scoop the heart. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. And exhale to your table or maybe that downward facing dog. Yogi's choice. Breathe in and breathe out. On your next inhale, lift your right leg all the way up and back. Good, flexing the right foot so your hips are parallel to one another. Go ahead and step your right foot up between your hands. Good, see that the right knee is over the left or the right ankle, and then start to lift that left knee up. Actually, keep the left knee down. We're gonna go somewhere else today, Claire. Lower that left knee down, nice. Bring your hands to your hips. As we come into this kneeling crescent here, maybe you stay right here with your hands on your hips. This is perfect. Lunging into that right knee. You can even press both hands into the top of your right thigh to get more support here to balance. See that that left hip crease is coming forward and your right hip crease is moving back in space. You may keep the hands here or lift them all the way up to the sky. Yogi's choice. Or you can keep those hands down wherever you can breathe. Good, if the body is upright, go ahead and extend your right arm back behind you. Your left hand can stay on that right knee or it can also extend forward. These twists are really good for our neck as well as our shoulders. So notice where your shoulders are in space. Go ahead and wrap that right arm behind your back like you wanna stick it in your left pocket Keep looking over your right shoulder and reach the left arm all the way up and over. Good, exhale, surround your left foot or your right foot with both of your hands and make your way to your table or downward dog. And breathe through your nose. There you go. Inhale. And exhale. And go ahead and lift your left leg all the way up and back behind you. Stretch it out. Then go ahead and plant your left foot between your palms. Gently lower your right knee down to the yoga mat. Once your left foot is planted down flat, bring your hands to your hips. Drawing the right hip forward, send that left hip way back so your hips are squared up towards the short edge of your yoga mat. Take a deep breath in, lift the heart, and breathe out as you go deeper into this lunge. Maybe lifting those arms up, that's beautiful, Claire. You can have the arms lifted wherever you are, just accepting your variation, how you feel in this moment. Go ahead, open up. Take your right hand to your left knee and draw the left arm back behind you. For some of us, you might want to reach your right arm forward. See that you're peeking over that left shoulder though, stretching your neck and releasing your shoulders down and back together. Then go ahead, wrap your right arm behind your back. Stick your right hand in that left pocket or your left hand in your right pocket. Still lunging in your left knee, Reach your right arm up and over, looking down over your left shoulder. Balancing your grace and your strength with your breath. Exhale, surround your left foot with both hands and we'll make our way into down dog or table. Press into your palms, activate those abdominal muscles and breathe here. And this can always be your table this can always be child's pose with the knees out wide and the forehead down. 
We need you, child. Don't be afraid to take it. Let's not be stubborn with ourselves this morning. Take whatever you need. And then go ahead. Take another couple breaths in and out here. And eventually we'll meet standing up, folded in half, in our forward fold. Take your time to get here and breathe. As you inhale, lift up halfway with your nice flat back. And exhale, fold back in. Bring your heart to your thighs. Fill your lungs up. Circle the arms up to the sky. And bring your palms down to your heart. This is our last time doing our shoulder stretch together, guys. So separate those feet and work to really get in. At this time, maybe if your hands were like this, you work to bring those hands closer together now that the body and the shoulders are a little warmer. Take that big breath in, inflating your torso with breath. And as you exhale, fold forward, scooping that low belly in and up, squeezing the breath out of the low belly. Five breaths here. In your next exhalation, release your fingers, release your breath. Lift up halfway with your nice flat spine and plant your hands. Come to the top of that plank or your table and hold and breathe. Press back through your heels. See that your hips, whether your knees are lifted or lowered, see that those hips are parallel with shoulders. And exhale to slowly lower down halfway, letting the heart hover. Inhale back to the top of your plank or your table. Exhale, lower halfway down, elbows in to protect those rotator cuffs. Inhale back to the top. The last one, come all the way down to your belly slowly, navel reaching to spine. And as you inhale, scoop your heart up without clenching your buns. And then come to your table or your downward dog and breathe. Fill your lungs up, lift your right leg all the way up and back behind you. And then start to step your right foot up between your hands. Beautiful, Claire. Go ahead, stay on the knee. Or maybe this round, you lift the knee. You let that knee just hover over the ground. And as you inhale, circle the arms up towards the sky, moving into knee crescent or kneeling crescent, yogi's choice. Lift your arms, lift your gaze, or maybe the hands stay to your hips or the hands rest on top of your knees, or the knee stays down. Wherever you are, knees lifted or lowered, start to open up to your right side. Breathe. Wrap your right arm behind your back and lift that left arm up and over, looking down over your right shoulder. And again, your knee can be up here or it can be lower. And as you exhale, surround your right foot, step it back to your downward dog. Lift that right footprint to the sky. Good, and let's change sides. Go ahead, lift your left foot all the way up and back. And then step your left foot up between your hands and lower the right knee down. And again, you know how it felt on the other side. Maybe you leave that right knee up. And as you inhale, lift the arms up. Fill your whole body with this life-giving breath as you rise or fall. <laughs> Wherever you are, accept and breathe. And let those shoulders fall away from your ears. Exhale, bring the left arm back behind you as you twist open. And again, if you need to intensify this pose, you want to sweat a little bit, lift the right knee up. Wrap your left arm behind your back. Keep lunging in that left knee and reach the right arm up and over. Kicking down over your left shoulder so you get this twist here. Good. Exhale. Plant the hands around the left foot. 
and step it back to your table or that inverted V, your downward facing dog. Breathe. Good, and then slowly we'll all lower down to the knees. Take your time to get there. Cross your ankles, bring the feet in front of you. Good, my blanket gives me lots of lint. If <laughs> you guys see that, it's all good. Hug your knees into your chest. We're going to strengthen and lengthen right now. We're gonna move into boat pose here, but notice where your shoulders are in space. Take a few shoulder rolls here, roll it out. Sometimes our shoulders get really tight and we don't know what to do with them in boat pose or we're not thinking of what's happening to them. But take any roundness out of your low back. So if you're sitting like this, lift your heart all the way up towards the ceiling. Move your ears kind of back by the shoulders and breathe. Your hands can be right under your knees and start to gently let your feet hover over the mat. Drawing the shoulders down and back as you peek over the tip of your nose. Maybe those legs lift up halfway. Maybe your arms lift. Maybe your legs straighten. Wherever you are, accept and breathe. We have five breaths here together. Four. Three. And if those last two you gotta do this, that's fine too. We got one more breath. Breathe in, fill your lungs up. Exhale, release, lower your feet. Give yourself a little hug. Let your forehead rest between your knees. And now round your back. Good, we'll move into one more round of our boat pose. Take that roundness out of your back. Draw the rhomboids down and back. And lift your heart. Maybe lift those feet. Peeking over the tip of your nose, breathe. Maybe you lift the legs. But if you notice those shoulders starting to hike up or your breath starting to become short, maybe you take it down a bit and let the feet just hover. Wherever you are, we have two more deep breaths together. That's one more. One last one. Hug it in and let the forehead fall between the knees. We'll do a nice little counter pose that will also get into our neck and shoulders. Take your hands right behind your hips here with the fingertips facing your body. Unwind the feet and press into all 10 toes and both heels. As you breathe in, lift your sternum up. Draw the shoulders together. Send those shoulder heads down away from your ears and look up. Some of us might stay right here, which is perfect. Breathing in as your belly presses towards your thighs and breathing out as the low belly moves away from your thighs. If you need a little more, you wanna feel that stretch uh, more deeply in your shoulders, start to lift your hips up, floating them to the ceiling. There you go, Claire, beautiful. And let your head fall back in your shoulder girdle. Again, that thing is eight to 10 pounds. We hold it up all day. In this class, let's work to take the weight off of our shoulders, off of our necks. Take one more breath here, lifting the hips up, letting the full belly float to the ceiling. And as you exhale, slowly lower down. Take your time, cross your legs. Take a deep breath in, circle your arms up towards the sky, fill the lungs up. Exhale as you bring the hands down to your heart. Take a moment here to acknowledge your inhalation and your exhalation. Notice where those shoulders are in space. They should be feeling a little more relaxed now, less tense. Inhale, circle your arms up again, fill your lungs up, reach your arms up and look past the fingers. And then plant your hands, come onto your hands and knees in the best way available for you. Take your time to get there. Good. Move your hips a little bit from side to side here. As you inhale, walk that left hand towards the center of your mat. 
and fill your lungs up and reach that right arm up. Taking another twist here for the shoulders, for our necks. Good, and as you exhale, go ahead, we're gonna thread the needle. Bring your right ear and right shoulder all the way down to your yoga mat and breathe. In and out through your nose. If you're familiar with this pose and if you'd like, you may send that left leg all the way back, flexing your left foot. You might even let that left leg float in the air. Or you might stay right here with both knees down. Go ahead and notice your right arm or your left arm where it is in space. You can inch the left fingertips forward. Or you can take that left arm behind your back depending on what you're striving to feel in the shoulders. And go ahead, release your breath and your hand back under your left shoulder. Fill your lungs up and wave that right arm up towards the sky, opening up here. And then go ahead, release your right hand down, spread the fingertips far apart. Fill your lungs up and reach the left arm up to the sky. And then go ahead, thread your arm between your arm and your body and lower your left ear down to the mat, your left cheek down to the mat. And you can always use a block, a blanket or a pillow to bring the floor closer to you. Take what you need and breathe through your nose. That right arm can come behind your back. You may also inch it forward. In your next exhale, release your bind and your hand, lower it down to the floor. Take a big inhale and wave your left arm up. And exhale, lower it down. Now come all the way onto your belly. We're gonna get deeper into our shoulders. I'm gonna move the camera here so you can see. Um, yeah, come down to the belly. And you're gonna walk one arm this way. Take your right arm all the way out to your left. Good, and then take your left arm all the way out to your right. And we're really gonna get into the neck and shoulders. Create some space for yourself. And then just kind of let your neck nuzzle up in there. And you're going to feel a stretch in your shoulders. And rest your head and breathe. Now you might feel all tied up here. But when you unravel, your shoulders and your neck are going to feel so relieved. Let's take three more deep breaths here. Just let your head rest. Your mind rest. Good, and then slowly start to come up using those elbows as leverage and change sides. Take whatever arm was in front behind and then walk the fingertips in opposite directions. Walk, 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 walk until you feel really tight and then you'll see how your body just kind of melts into this and the upper shoulders start to stretch here. Breathe through your nose, in and out. Now I'm closer to the screen, I can see you guys. Hi, Nina. Breathe in, and breathe out. And then slowly walk the hands back in Coming onto your elbows, rise up to your hands and knees, cross your ankles or make your way into a seated position in the best way available for you. Take any extra flesh from underneath your sitting bones so you're grounded on your blanket or your yoga mat and start to draw your ankles together. Take a few shoulder rolls here. Breathing in as they lift and out as they release. 
Press your hands right back behind you with the fingertips turned towards your body. Flex your feet. This is called staff pose, dandasana. It doesn't feel very active for you. Really press the floor away from you and flex your feet. Draw the shoulder blades down and back and broaden your collarbone with your breath. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, start to come forward. Just rolling over to the tops of your hands so they're on the floor. And you just fold in here. Let your shoulders hang heavy towards the floor. And breathe. Watching your belly inflate and contract with your breath. On that next inhale, fill the belly up and use it to let the body rise. As you exhale, ground through your sitting bones and inhale, sweeping the arms up towards the ceiling. Feet past your fingertips and reach up and exhale to fold forward without reaching for anything, just letting go here. And you may want to give your neck and shoulders a little bit more support here. So you can use a blanket or blocks to rest your head on. So this is more of a passive stretch and just letting the front of your shoulders just hang down towards the floor. And if you're at home, which I hope you are, <laughs> we have lots, you have lots of things you can rest your head on, like a full blanket from your bed or a sweater or anything you can grab a hold of. Take five deep breaths here through your nose. On that next inhale, rise with your breath and slowly start to come down to your backs. Lay down, use those elbows to take you there. Just gonna turn to the side so you can see on Facebook. Uh, bend your knees, plant the soles of your feet into the yoga mat. Good, take your feet hips distance apart. And on your next inhalation, fill your belly up and just let it start to flow up towards the ceiling. You can always place a block right under your low back or a blanket or a pillow. Start to walk those heels back towards your shoulders to get more leverage to lift and expand your thoracic spine, this whole upper body. Take three more breaths here in bridge pose. Looking up at the ceiling to protect your neck and your cervical spine. And on your next exhalation, release your breath, any props in your back, all the way down to your yoga mat. Hug your knees in towards your heart and rock a little bit from side to side. You can rock your head with it. Take big rocks from side to side so the top of your shoulders even get a little massage here. And then go ahead, open your arms out wide to a T. Let your knees fall to the right. And then let your chin rest over your left shoulder. Feel the shoulders completely relax here. Maybe you even close your eyes. On your next inhale, inflate your body and let the knees rise. And as you exhale, change sides, release your knees, your breath, 
Bring your chin to your right shoulder this time. Letting your shoulders melt into your yoga mat. Start to come back through center. Press your feet into the floor. And then go ahead and bring the soles of your feet together. If those knees don't quite meet the floor, which they probably won't, it's okay. You can place some blocks or some blankets underneath your knees. So again, it's a passive stretch and the body is relaxed. And on your next inhale, reach your arms over your head. In this reclined cobbler's pose, Sutta Baddha Konasana which also feels really nice and restorative for our neck and our shoulders. In this asana, allow the eyes to close. And you're gonna watch, strengthen, and nourish those internal organs for our next few breaths. And your next inhale, Fill up your belly, breathing in, breathing in through the nose, breathing in, breathing in. Hold your breath at the top for three, two, one. Let it out. Breathe in for five, four, three, two, one, hold, for three, two, one, and release. Begin to breathe at your natural rate of respiration now. And then go ahead and start to extend your feet to the bottom of your yoga mat. Our Instagram story just stopped, so we're going to start that over again. Um, but if you're on your back, go ahead, stay there, stretch your legs out. And lie down. taking here a moment in Shavasana, our final pose. And in Shavasana, on your backs, take a moment to notice how your whole body feels. Particularly your neck and your shoulders. Maybe they feel stronger or lighter. Just take this moment here in this restful state of awareness to accept whatever you feel inside and out. And then slowly start to add some movement to your toes. Start to add movement to your fingers, just wiggling them. And 
here's the nicest part. Let your chin move from one shoulder to the other. Just further releasing any tension, anything left in your shoulders or your neck. And then take a deep breath in, reach your arms over your head like you're taking a morning stretch. Fill your whole body up with breath, breathe in and let it go. From your back, draw your knees into your chest. And draw some circles in the ceiling, getting one more free massage, big circles so you get those shoulders into your mix. And then rock all the way onto your favorite side to sleep on, maybe your right or your left. And then start to use your hands to press up to a comfortable seat with your legs crossed spine upright. As you inhale, circle your arms up towards the ceiling. Big breath in, lifting your chin and heart. And exhale, bring the palms together with the thumbs resting at your chest. Let us all take one collective healing breath in and out together. On your next inhale, start to fill until you're completely full. Breathe it all in. Open your mouth and let it all go. Nice. The love and light inside of me bows to that same love and light inside of all of you. Namaste. Thank you everybody on Facebook and Instagram for joining uh, us this morning. Thank you, Claire, for waking up and uh, showing people an intensified version of a lot of the poses. Really appreciate your time. Uh, everybody on Facebook, Claire practiced with us today to do some demonstrations. Uh, her and Asha will be guiding your sidewalk Detroit classes this summer, so we look forward to COVID being over so we can see and hug all of you this summer. And again, uh, the lovely Claire over here on our Instagram is going to be one of your teachers along with Asha who practiced with us the last couple of days. So thanks again for joining us and uh, learn more info about Yoganic Flow community classes on our Instagram and Facebook. Thanks so much. Namaste. Bye Claire. Thank you.